All right, so in the previous video, we saw how to represent a table, fields, and primary keys in an ER diagram. So we already know all three of those things. Table goes in a square. Fields for that table go in ovals, connected like you see. Primary key represented with an underlined field name. But the point of an ER diagram is to tell you more information than just table name, field name, primary key. It's also supposed to tell you the relationships that exist between tables. So does one table have, have a connection to the other table? That's what an ER diagram is going to tell us. So this notation doesn't really tell us that. So we know what these symbols are for, but uh, the, the third symbol to know for ER diagramming is the diamond, which is going to represent that link or that relationship between tables. So it's not between fields, between, but between the tables where we want to represent uh, some type of relationship with the ER diagram. So if we had uh, students who took classes, so we had a table with students in it, and we had a separate table with classes, um, those two tables might be linked in some way so we knew what student took what class and the diagram or the diamond will show us that connection. So let's look at an example. <coughs> so this diagram doesn't represent the fields but it's showing us a, a relationship or a connection between two tables. So we have a cars table which is in a rectangle. Uh, we have a manufacturer's, you know, the car maker's table over here. Um, and there's a connection. You know, if this car, we need to know who manufactured it, so it would come from a list of manufacturers. So there is a relationship between those two tables. So between those two tables, we have a diamond. Only thing, so obviously the table names go in here. As far as what you put in here, it should just be some little descriptive verb saying what the connection is. So you could call this made by, or I called it is made. Um, whatever you want to say is the relationship between those two tables. You can just put that verb in there. So we've got the diamond to represent the, the connection between these two tables. The other thing we need to uh, label on this ER diagram is often there's a one side and a many side. One is an, a one, the many in this particular notation is an N. And what that means is one manufacturer might make many cars, right? A car probably only has one manufacturer, right? If it's a, if it's a Honda uh, Accord, then it has one manufacturer, which is Honda. But a manufacturer might make many different cars. So that's how we kind of figure out the one side and the many side when we're creating our ER diagram and, and mapping it out here. You just have to think through real world examples and figure out uh, you know, which is the one side and which is the many side and then notate that in your ER diagram with the one and the n. So just to expound on that a little bit, or just see maybe a little different angle on that, uh, let's look at expanding this database. Maybe it has a third table over here for salespeople. So uh, a car is sold by, right? So we got a list of cars maybe at our dealership. We got a list of salespeople in our salesperson table. And there's a relationship between those two tables. So we need to represent that with a diamond. So these are just table names. Again, you could call this what you want. I called it sold by, or you could say salespeople sell cars, you know, something like that should go in the diamond. And then again, the trick maybe is figuring out the one and the many side, because on an ER diagram, you need to represent your one and your lowercase n. Um, so in this case, it probably isn't likely that one car would have many salespeople, but it is likely that one salesperson might sell many cars if they work at this dealership for a while. So that's how we got the one here and the many here. Uh, one salesperson might sell many cars, just using kind of common sense and real-world real, real world, 
uh, logic. So uh, the additional symbol here is the diamond. Put a verb in there and then kind of just figure out uh, which is the one and which is the mini side or at least what makes sense.